The main event of the night, WWE World Heavyweight Championship, Daniel Bryan versus Kane. I'm not too thrilled into this match, but just kind of like the John Cena and Bray Wyatt one, they did a little bit extra to make me more interested than before with uh, the past couple things that they've been doing. So, uh, best case scenario, they end up having a decent match. I'm not looking um, for this to be a classic or anything. And uh, it makes sense. I probably would have done the same thing if I were in creative. So, uh, I'll give them a little bit of leeway with that. Daniel Bryan has to retain 100%. No doubt in my mind whatsoever. And if this is the main event of the night as opposed to Evolution versus S.H.I.E.L.D., then that makes all the more sense because everybody can celebrate with Daniel Bryan. But then again, maybe people are going to celebrate more with the shield. So who knows which one they're going to go with last. And I really hope that it is Daniel Bryan because if they start this trend with what they did with John Cena and CM Punk, where Punk was the champion, but he was never the fucking main event. It always ended up going to John Cena. That's going to look bad on Daniel Bryan. So give it to him. Give him the win. Guarantee. Payton. Yeah, this is just a, an opponent for Daniel Bryan to go through on the way to uh, well, wherever the hell the end of his journey is going to take him. I, I equate this just to, you know, not to make another comparison of Daniel Bryan and Shawn Michaels, but uh, when Shawn Michaels fought Diesel at In Your House, Good Friends, Bad, Better Enemies at the In Your House after WrestleMania where he won the title. It was just his first opponent. They wanted to put him against someone big, kind of a monster, someone that has a little bit of a tenure behind them, someone that a victory over them would really legitimize them as champion and show that uh, they can beat anybody. You know, maybe yeah. not, uh, you know, name wise, people are looking at Kane like, oh my God, Kane, he's not on a level of John Cena, but Kane is the devil's favorite demon. He's the big red monster. He's a multi time former world champion. Don't discredit a victory over him. It's still a big deal. So I think this will be cool. These guys should have a chemistry after being tag partners for a long time, and we never really got closure on that whole thing. So I think this is an excellent time for all those paths to come together and get that done. Chester? Oh, and Daniel Bryan wins. If I didn't say that. I think I feel like they're they're only bringing Kane up just to give Brian someone. Like even at WrestleMania, Kane was just not in a big position. You know, he he was in that authority role. I think he had, he spent like zero amount of the time in the six man tag he was in participating in. And I don't know. I, I just I'm not a big fan of them randomly building Kane back up to have Brian have a match with him. I guess they did a little more work recently to bring King back up to that level to add some intrigue to the match. But I don't know. It's, it's a, seems like a pretty obvious win for Brian. And I'm not a big fan of a, when, when the whole pay-per-view already has this like thrown together feel, I'm not a big fan of a main event. That's a one-sided obvious affair. The, the, I think I feel like the only match you've been looking forward to worth looking forward to is shield and evolution. Cause it's the only match where you're not sure of the result. I was like, I might've been the only match we were even split on. I think we all agreed on every single other match. No, no, no. So, the WLC. Come on. Oh, we all see. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I've got Brian, I guess. And I, don't, I won't really care. Drew. Ah, uh, shoot. You know, I'm, I'm I'm actually looking forward to this match. I'm like, I don't know. It, it, I have confidence that this will be a good match. Word of the day is confidence, by the way. And I I don't know. I Hopefully this is good. I, I have confidence Brian will win. I God damn it. Fuck. Okay. And yeah, where the fuck is Big Show at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sound like you have confidence when you're talking, Just. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Big you know, Show is probably I'm not, I'm not, in that kind of lull where they don't have anything that right. they uh, can plan for him to do. So why not just keep him off? And okay, that's fine. Well, well, you know, well, I hope Daniel Bryan wins. You know, feel you know he hasn't done much since uh, he won his title, but you know it's not his fault. You know, some things have gotten in the way. Uh, hopefully, he can you know put on a good match right now. And you know, okay, I know Kane and Bryan have had good matches in the past, so why not Kane have a good one now? And, uh, yeah, uh, go team. You know. Here we go. Yeah. I'm actually going to break from tradition. I'm going to say Kane wins this one. I, I think he takes the belt off of Brian, and here's why. They really have nothing else for Brian going forward. If, except for Kane. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Brian has been the most over in the chase. 
he's been the most over when he's chasing after the title. You know, he got his big win at WrestleMania, and that's all well and good, and he's had all this great stuff happen to him, but given that they really have nobody else that they could put against him going forward after Kane, I mean, yeah, what are they, they just going to do, have him beat up Kane every single pay-per-view? He could phase Orton. He has his rematch clause. So you think Kane and Evolution and Wyatt are all going to win, and they're going to end this long, miraculous journey Brian went on to win the championship, only for having him lose it to the guy who was the GM three weeks ago? Well, just, well, keep in mind, they just had an angle where they broke his back. You know, he, he took three tombstone pile drivers, one on the, ta- one on the announce table and one on yeah. the uh, steel Big steps. Down. He he was real chaired. He was stretchered out of WrestleMania, and then he came back and won a match. I don't think that's a big deal. <laughs> he wrestled yeah. with a bad shoulder. Like that was the whole point. He he overcame all this stuff. I I don't think you realize stuff. That, what this stuff. Stuff. And, all that stuff. You know, God. And also they have like you know they have Orton that he could feud with. You know, if whenever Batista comes back, he could feud with him because Batista never got that one on one match that he won in that Mania. You know, they could do that as well. You know, there's a lot of people he could feud with. Honestly, they could do a face versus face, Dana and Brian versus John Cena match if they really wanted to at one point. Because well, they never really had closure from what happened at SummerSlam last year because uh, Cena had to take time off. Well, John, John Cena's going to be uh, – he's going to be taking out a care of Bray Wyatt because he's got to Oh, my God, that's down way. the line. That is down the line. Down the line. There are plenty Bobby of people Cotton. they could just throw at Daniel yeah. Bryan if they wanted to. They could throw Honestly, Rusev at him. Honestly, you know, yeah, whatever. they could also – if they really wanted to, they could <laughs> – they also put, I don't know, someone on the shield against them. I don't know. They can do a lot of stuff with them, honestly, right now. Listen to how a lot more intriguing feuds for Daniel Bryan than there are for Kane. Yeah. All right, all right, guys. Calm down, boys. Calm down, boys. I know you two loved it. No, yeah. Bryan, no, except potato. what you're saying is stupid. There's someone for this thing, This guy who's been a GM for the past five, a half a year is going to come back to wrestle just after he comes back as the Big Red Monster. I love how this just turned in. Hey, and he's Miguel, gonna win the title. That makes you. no sense, Miguel. <laughs> how the hell would that happen? Yo, it he's makes... tired. Let him go. No, it makes per- <laughs> it makes perfect sense because Oh you're right, that's... Miguel. Miguel, yeah. That's okay. Puerto Rican, I forgot. You're right. What? <laughs> what the hell's up with you, Joe? You really um, are grasping at straws at this point. Yeah, don't be a um, dick. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's, uh, what I'm trying to say is Brian is most over when he's chasing the the heel. I mean, that's when the, a baby face is the most over but when don't he's because he just won the title and he hasn't I, been on at all. Well, no, I, I get what Miguel is saying, but I don't know if Kane is that kind of heel that you want to have him chasing. You know, it, it was exciting because people like Randy Orton and Triple H were such exciting heels to see Daniel Bryan oppose. I don't know if people are going to get that behind. Kane as the villain for Daniel Bryan to chase after. Yeah, Orton and Triple H are like legitimate villains that people can like get mad at and want Bryan to be. And and like Kane, it's like, well, we like Kane because he's you know he's cool. He's the big red monster. Like I don't care if he's a good guy or a bad guy, whatever. You know, like that's what it is with Kane. And like he's gonna wrestle Bryan, and all we care about is the closure with the Team Hell No thing. And Bryan wins, and that's over. And then Bryan fights somebody else. That's that's pretty much it. I I don't think Kane is like like Mike said is one of those heels that it's just oh shit well that damn Kane he took the title and now I'm mad at Kane you know what I mean you put a little Vince McMahon there <laughs> sorry <laughs> all right fair enough then uh, Daniel Bryan wins no 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 you, you can say Kane wins I just think it's stupid <laughs> <laughs> you're such a dick tonight. He's on oh. fire, apparently. He's he's no, he's taking advantage of the fact that I'm not all quite there right now. Yeah, that's what's going advantage on. Taking advantage of you while you're tired. Holy. Yeah, that because that's how it works. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna stick with Kane then. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the high road on this one. I'm Good. gonna say Kane wins, and they're gonna drag this out all the way to um, however long they can drag it out. I mean, I I can I could see them. I could see Daniel Bryan getting the belt back is the thing. Like, so what if he loses this month? He can get it back next month. It's fine. He got his big win at WrestleMania. He got his comeuppance. You know, what does it matter if he loses the belt again just to get it back later down the line? If they keep the belt off of him and they transition the belt from, like, Kane to Cena, yeah, that would suck. But they're not going to keep him out of the title picture. He's going yeah, to get the – he would get the belt think, back eventually. I don't think they should be playing hot Rusev with the title. <laughs> they shouldn't right now. They shouldn't especially – Did you say hot Rusev or hot Rousseau? Because that does that, – that sounds like a bit Rousseau of – because he's a potato. Oh. Ah, okay. Like I, like I said, I, I, I'm going to go with Kane on this one. Especially, here's <laughs> the thing, though. If if this matchup goes on, if the Shield matchup goes on last, I can see them maybe having the Shield win. 
But um, if it goes, uh, if if um, this one goes on last, then yeah, maybe Daniel Bryan will win. But I'm gonna stick with Kane. Oh man, Wego, you got that right when I was drinking something. <laughs> <laughs> you wounded it while you was choking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the sound of Powerade coming right back up from a hot potato joke. Uh, <laughs> so, I go, who's winning here? Daniel Bryan, because any other decision would be stupid. That's all you had to say. That's all anyone had to say to Miguel. Just, no, you're stupid. That's, that's it. what I said. I said it was dumb. You said other that's mean the- things. Oh, jeez. All right. That wraps up Extreme Rules. We're going to do some Fantasy League talk in the next section, and that'll be it.